Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. And something is deeply disturbing in the heart of Scottish culture. Pubs in Scotland are closing at a ferocious rate, double the rate of pubs in England. And we have to ask why. I can think of straight away at least two reasons, possibly a third, and we will have a look at those once we get into the piece. But it seems to be deliberate, uh, deliberate action by a puritanical and censorious SNP who absolutely object to the fact that people may go out, socialise, have fun, have a good time and enjoy themselves. That's the last thing the SNP want. They want an impoverished, miserable society so they can present themselves as the only solution to lift people out of the misery that they have caused. Uh, it's a game and a ploy used, of course, back in the 30s in Germany by the National Socialists. Didn't work out well for them. I think it won't work out well for the SNP. But unless this trend is completely reversed, then the whole culture of Scotland will change. But I think that's part of the plan. It's all part of the replacement, isn't it? Let's have a look. So plea to save Scottish pubs as they close at twice the rate of pubs in England and the SNP told it must act. The end, uh, industry figures have accused the Scottish Government of failing to pass on rates relief with the rate of closures accelerating in the past four years. Now we'll address that straight away. Um, the, the UK Government at Westminster handed over a huge amount, billions of pounds, billions upon billions of pounds to the SNP and told them this was for um, rate relief uh, to you know business, businesses rate relief and that they were to pass this on to the businesses to help them at the uh, to, to recover after all the Covid closures. Oh yes, 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 said the SNP, taking the money, not passing it on, and nobody knows where this money has gone. We're talking billions, and nobody knows. This alone needs a full criminal investigation, but not by Police Scotland, but by, say, the Metropolitan Police, after all the money came from London. Let's get the Met Police to go up there go through, get the forensic accountants in and see where the billions meant for rate relief to save businesses like pubs went. Because it certainly didn't go to the businesses. It's probably sitting in a little offshore account waiting for the time when the SNP will disband and flee to the likes of Argentina before they get rounded up, captured and put on trial like they did in Nuremberg. Because I believe the, uh, the SNP are no different than that bunch. And they made sure they got their money out, didn't they? Uh, anyway, the SNP-run Scottish Government has been told it must act to save Scotland's pub industry. As shock new figures showed, establishments were closing at twice the rate of England. The number of boozers in Scotland has shrunk every year since 2020. And in the first nine months of 2023, there were 76 fewer pubs compared with 2022. The rate at which pubs are closing is accelerating, with 1.7% closing in Scotland in the first three quarters of this year. That compared with 0.7% in England where industry figures say the UK government is offering more support for the sector. Well, I'm going to say it isn't just the rates. I mean, the rates were done generally for every business. No one got the money. They, they salted that away to their little foreign accounts and numbered accounts in Switzerland and, you know, Hong Kong and wherever, wherever the money can't be touched, ready for the day they flee in their private jets. But on top of that, there is a cultural thing. We've seen ever since um, the joyless one, Sturgeon came to power, she's had a wage of war on people in Scotland enjoying their drink, enjoying a wee socialise, a gathering, a swally. She doesn't like it. She doesn't like people having fun and gathering with friends because she doesn't know what fun is and she hasn't got any friends. And so she's waged this war. She wants to destroy the pub industry because she wants to destroy all alcohol. Except for her own personal consumption, of course, we, we touched upon that yesterday. Uh, but on top of that, of course, there is another argument. You now have the great race replacement. Uh, people who are coming to Scotland now in ever increasing numbers, thanks to the Muslim in chief. He's bringing these people in. He's giving millions upon millions of pounds of foreign aid exclusively to Muslim countries. He's trying to increase immigration from those countries to Scotland because Scotland, of course, in his view, it's far, far too white. And of course, the people that are coming in, they don't like alcohol, they don't like pubs. And so the continuation is, let's get rid of all the pubs because we need to change the entire culture of Scotland. That is also got to be taken in and factored into account, we think. 
And that is why Scotland is changing. And you're letting it change because, especially SNP voters, you are voting these people in. You are voting for pubs to be destroyed. You are voting for a change in your very culture. And you don't even know you're doing it. But then that's the problem with the SNP voters. They don't see this because they're all rather stupid. They need to wake up and smell the coffee and look around them and see what they keep voting for. If they keep voting for it, it'll be more of the same and it'll be worse. And then when it finally does get past that inflection point, you'll be going, oh, look at what's happened. Who can we blame? Blame yourselves. Anyway, the Scottish Beer and Pub Association and the Scottish Licensed Trade Association have now joined forces to call on the Scottish Government to pass on funding following the UK Chancellor's autumn statement, which will see English businesses receive a 75% reduction in rates bills in the financial year 24-25. The two groups claim pubs elsewhere in the UK benefited from the reduction last year, but Scotland's nationalist executive chose not to pass on that, despite Barnet consequentials being handed to the Holyrood administration for precisely that purpose. What the UK government need to do is not hand the money over to the uh, SNP, but hand it directly to the businesses. The SNP will hate that because they like to get their grubby little mitts and all that lovely money, which then they then lose and salt away and hide in their numbered accounts, rather than it going to the very people it's meant to help, because they don't want help people. They want misery. They want poverty. They want destruction. That's what they want. A scorched earth policy, if you will. And you can see that with every action they take. And the pubs closing is for them a double win. They are losing the pubs. They're losing the places where people can gather, communicate, have a good time. They're losing all the alcohol in the system because they don't want the new Scots coming in uh, to a place that's got alcohol in it because they're not coming from a place that alcohol exists, of course, all these new Scots. So they're, they're getting that. But also they're just generally increasing the misery and so they can present themselves and their utopian view of the future as the only way out of the mess. Well, it isn't going to wash. People are starting to wake up and that is why the SNP are losing support everywhere. Uh, anyway, uh, in a joint statement, the two organisations, the licensed people, said the industry was worth 1.6 billion every year and employs nearly 90,000 people. They described a failure to pass on rates relief as a devastating blow for Scotland's pubs and bars. But it's deliberate. Don't think that they've just forgotten. They're deliberately making this decision. Uh, it's resulted in a record number of permanent closures. They said the closures in the first nine months of 2023 were already a third higher than the whole of last year. And that many businesses are still saddled with debt incurred during the pandemic. But the likes of her doesn't care. She wants to spread misery. She wants to kill the entire sector. She wants Scotland to be a poverty ridden, desolate hole. And she's well on her way to doing it. And I think it's about time that somebody in Westminster realised the direction of travel and it ended this stupid experiment of allowing extremists to run a country. Uh, the Scottish Government has already clashed with, the much, with much of the industry on the issue of the deposit return scheme. Finance Secretary Shona Robertson will set out the government spending plans later in the month. You're asking a woman with an IQ of 86 to try and sort out an economy. Good luck. Uh, she's already warned of massive cuts or tax hikes are on the way because they cannot run an economy. And what happens? The tax hikes come in. And what do people with money do? <laughs> South of the border. The way they go. Scotland, well done. You keep voting these people in and you keep thinking things are going to get better. Things are going to get a whole lot worse. And you won't even be able to drown your sorrows. Firstly, there's no pub to go to. And secondly, if you went to a supermarket, you can't even afford a bottle of whiskey. Well done, Scotland. Keep voting these people in. See how it works out for you. What can you say? Stopping there, coming up and thinking, hmm, one day the very stupid people of the SNP may change and vote elsewhere. Don't hold your breath. Now, of course, your average SNP voter will be saying, oh, it's all Westminster's fault. It's all Westminster's fault. Blah, 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 blah. The perfect people in the SNP don't get anything wrong. But then you've got to remember the SNP, your average SNP voter has a lower IQ than Shona Robertson and she's thick. Just say to them, if they start coming up with Westminster's fault, take, well, you do know Westminster gave billions in rates relief and the SNP stole it, hid it and didn't pass it on to the people it was meant to go to. So when you can't go to your pub, don't blame Westminster. They're paying to keep the pubs open. 
It's the SNP that are making deliberate policy to close them. And you still vote for them. My God, they're thick, aren't they? SNP voters, thick as champ. Anyway, I shall stop there. Thank you very much for watching. Do keep up. There's a lot more coming today. There's a lot of stories. Uh, and I've just seen one that's breaking, and I'll do that next. And it involves the Greens. There's been a resignation, and there's a lot of infighting. Uh, but we'll have a look at that next. So anyway, stay safe, stay well, and I will speak to you later. Bye.